Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today we're doing the usual the walking and talking with Jose. My Miss Lambo. <laughs> I gotta bring Lambo out on one of these days. One of these uh, little trips. But anyways, today we're just walking to the store yet again, you know, um, and uh, just to buy some stuff yet again. <laughs> so, I'm bringing you guys with me. Now, Today we're going to be talking about the importance of health. Basically, more importantly than anything else, mental health, okay? Let's talk about that for a minute, or a few minutes. Let's talk about health, because it's all correlated, the whole thing, you know? The whole, from head, what is it, from head to toes, all right? The whole fucking thing, we're all, it's all connected. All right, we got this. Yay. So, it's all connected. Oh, look, it's the girl. She made an appearance. Well, you see, every time that I see her is when I'm seeing somebody else. And I never, when I'm, when, I, when I'm not seeing anybody, I never see her around. Whatever, man. I guess uh, this is the way it was supposed to be, huh? The way the cookie crumbles. So anyway, let's get back to the whole mental health aspect of this whole thing, uh, what we're talking about today. So, again, one of the main reasons I go out on these walks is for exercise. You know, I, I mean, there's other ways for me to get there. I can definitely get there, and it's only going to be like a, a couple bucks, you know, uh, for both trips. You know, like a dollar, dollar fifty you know one way and then the other way back so it's definitely doable and i could definitely do that <laughs> and i could definitely do that you know but um you know one of the main reasons i kind of don't do it besides you know the, just the budget at the moment it's really because of the exercise it really is it really is because of the exercise i mean you know there's nothing like uh like exercise like walking so you know today and yesterday um i've, I've been feeling a little bit down a little bit of an of a funk especially today and um and, and i tried i've been trying everything you know humanly possible to to make myself feel better and so on and so forth and uh you know the reality is that you know i'm kind of going through something right now that it's kind of like out of my control so that's what makes it a little bit a little more difficult but remember how we talked about before about control you know in the end of the day i'm the one that's in control no matter what so even though I don't necessarily have to go to the store today right now I do have to go to the store today and it's because I need to shake this funk out you know I have uh, you know I have a million things that I got to do in my own personal life and I'm not gonna let something external that I cannot control um, dictate the rest of my life you know I mean I never you know, I haven't, you know, I don't want to say I never really have because that would be a 100% lie, you know, we all have at one point, but I guess what I'm saying is that I'm definitely avoiding these situations in the future, so, you know, I, again, I have the power to get the control, so I took up, you know, the Jose remote control, <laughs> powered it up, and here I am, taking a walk, um, in this hot, nice, and humid weather. clear one's head and that's it and you know when when the whole saying comes about of like clearing your head um i think you know it might have to do with just the fact that you know let me just cross this little people in front of me i always walk so much faster than everybody else i, I like go i remember one time i was uh going down Paseo Montejo and there was somebody doing some power uh, power running or walking or whatever and i was literally keeping pace with him almost and I'm just walking, all right? But anyways, I digress, check that out. So yeah, about the whole clearing of the mind thing. You know, I think it really just has to do with the fact that, you know, it's exercise. It gets the blood flowing, you know, um, helps with circulation, so on and so forth. Everything's connected. Your brain is connected to, to you know, the rest. Um, this needs to be cleared out. Um, it needs to be filtered out and so on and so forth, you know, so when you help along your circulation it helps all those things along so 
That's why, you know, we're talking about mental health, but notice that I'm talking about like a lot of uh, physical activity and all that stuff. And that's the thing. It's being, it's, it's kind of both. All right, there's a lot of traffic, just keep walking. It's kind of both. Because, you know, if you don't have, if your mind ain't healthy, you know what I mean, then you can't get it healthy. It's kind of like symbiotic, you know. Um, you need to do regular physical activities and exercise in order to keep your mind healthy. It's not just about, you know, picking up a book and talking about, um, I mean, you know, and then doing, a, you know, therapy type work or, or mental therapy, whatever. That's very important. It's very important to do that kind of like, uh, you know, psychological work or what have you. I don't know what the proper terms for this shit is, but, you know, that's all extremely important. But it's like one goes with the other. You can't just have one. You got to have both. So, you know, just going back to, you know, um, why I came out here and decided to take a walk today was literally simply, you know, the fact that I needed to clear my freaking head. I was uh, getting a little stir crazy within the apartment, you know, and the reason I wasn't, you know, I wasn't leaving was because of this pending news, this pending situation that I have, which was kind of like driving me fucking crazy. So then in turn, you don't want to leave the house. Man, I just stepped in something nasty. So look, this is the ice cream place from two Saturdays ago, which is like the bomb ice cream place. And it's even more bomb now because I got some really good memories from here. Actually, there's always good memories from this place, but this place is the shit, all right? When you come to Paseo Montejo, you gotta come here. All right. So, um, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, you know, simply as, as simple as like a, You can't, remember, you can't, like, what I was saying about the control, and I can say a lot about the control, where it's, it's like, you can't control everything. You cannot control the universe. You know, there's only, the only thing you can actually control is yourself. Um, you can control how you react to the rest of the world. You can control, there's some, a lot of aspects of things that you can, can actually control, but certain things you can't. So instead of just staying at home, worrying, not being able to work, because again, I was just trying to do other things in order to keep my mind off it, but it wasn't working because I was so consumed by this. So, this is why I opted to do this. Um, because again, not only does, you know, being able to make these things for you help me, help me, you know, um, yeah, I know, sorry, I got distracted too by that. <laughs> not only, not only do these videos you know help me you see because it gets me smiling you know I get to you know experience life you know get my mind off things you know not only do, does talking to you guys help me a lot you know um, they're just like most regular situations like this you know what I mean where um, I need, really need to un unfocus and focus on something else yeah look how beautiful everything is by the way look at that so again, it's it's this, and then like you know, just forcing myself to to come out here to walk, to go do some physical activity, to go run an errand, to do shit like that. You know, it's a, it's a combination of all that shit that um, that allows me to finally clear my head. We all have something different, but I think exercise is a major major outlet. You know, exercise is a is a major outlet. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of like go through the back here. I think a little back road type of thing because I gotta go to the to the store, the pharmacy to pick something up. I gotta pick something else up real quick at the pharmacy. So I was like, you know what, let me pick that up first. So that way I can just go straight. So um yeah man, physical physical activity and mental health, alright? Just again, so let's just get back to mental health, alright? So Again, we have full control. We have full control over ourselves. We have full control over this. We have full control over a lot of things, whether we know that or not. And a lot of times when we think to ourselves or we, we think that, see, look, we need something, someone to build something there. <laughs> um, I gotta stop distracting myself with other extracurricular activities here, but 
Yeah, what was I saying about the mental? See, I'm mental. Oh yeah, right, that we have full control. A lot of times when we think that we don't have control, whether it's of a situation or, you know, we just lose control, how we lose control of our emotions, lose control of certain aspects of ourselves, and then we blame all these other extracurricular activities on our behavior. Um, easier to not control that it's a lot easier to say that oh I'm out of control and so on and so forth and that's really how it works it's kind of like having a, a mental black belt you know having a mental black belt and uh, the whole mental black belt uh, situation how that really kind of comes about is by you know Whenever you're encountering any kind of these situations, it's whether you keep your cool or not. It's up to you, you know what I mean? Like you, again, you're the one that's in full control. So no matter how horrible the situation, whether it's like you're waiting for news, whether something really bad happened, you know what I mean? Like an accident, you know, like some sort of, uh, whatever the fuck is, life happens, bro. You know, life happens all the fucking time. Um, again, it's really just 100% up to you and nobody else uh, I, I mean for reals anyone out there that blames anything else but yourself is not doing it right because again you can't control anything but you can't let it control you you know that's like the major fucking thing here all right you can't control the outside world okay but if you're not careful, the outside world will control you, okay? So just always remain in control. You know what you need to do. Everyone as an individual out there knows exactly what they need to do as it pertains to remaining in control, okay? And if you don't, then that's the homework you need to do. That's the work you need to do. That's what you need to start focusing on more than anything else, all right? Because it really is all about mental health, all right? It's a lot easier for me to have stayed home and sulked and not, you know what I mean? Only felt worse and so on and so forth. But I opted to not do that. I opted to come out here and, uh, and you know, run these errands. Get some fucking exercise. Stop being a little bitch, you know what I mean? Like, that's literally it. And all of a sudden, I feel a lot better. I've only been walking for about 13 minutes now and I feel a lot better I already do feel a lot better and um, for anyone out there that knows what I'm talking about then yeah sure enough and if you don't know what I'm talking about you you really need to do it and again it's like it's these are the hard things you know what I mean this this is the work that you have to constantly be doing it's 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 things like this you know when I say it's like oh you got to do the work you know it's like well this is the kind of shit I'm talking about you know what I mean like it's just like it's, it's a bunch of little fucking things all over the place and it's it's hard life is hard life is not supposed to be fucking easy all right and uh, I mean for real so it's all about that mental health you know it really is it's all about you know it's not about it's not it's not how about how many hits you take or how many times you fall it's how you get up every time you fucking fall we all fall we all take hits it's all part of life but what are you gonna do what are you gonna do you know what I mean when it when it's your turn so you know that's you know that's literally the the lesson here more than anything else so all right guys um, I think I'm gonna end this video here because I'm already at the pharmacy, making this one a short one, short little motivational video. Hope it helped out um, somewhat. And uh, and yeah, you know, I really appreciate you guys being here as always. You guys are fucking awesome. So yeah, I'm in the hospital area. So this was actually the hospital where I went to get taken care of and all this is like hospital stuff. And there's a bunch of pharmacies out here. And then the Walmart's right over there. But anyways, I'm gonna cut it here. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself physically, mentally, but more importantly, just take care of yourself, okay? Whatever that entails. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please stay awesome, and I'll see you motherfuckers tomorrow. Peace.